Hello! Today I will be sharing with you how I created and designed these DIY door hanger flyers for my piano studio business using Canva. So stick around if you want some tips and tricks and just creative inspiration for anything that you might want to create using Canva. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go to canva.com and log into your account. I signed up for their 30 day free trial period for Canva Pro and I love this because I just had more creative options to work with in terms of templates and images and other creative details. And you can do this too. You can sign up for 30 days and you can always cancel any time before your trial period ends. So the template that I decided to use for my flyers is called Natural Beige Course Workbook. And I just clicked on that. I just searched it up already so it was in my history. And it is the first template that you see right here. And I decided to go with this because of the minimal colors and aesthetic. So I just clicked on customize this template and it should pop open here. And so as you can see, it is vertical, but I want it to be horizontal. So you're going to hit resize on the top left corner of your screen next to home and file. And in the search bar, you're going to type in worksheet landscape. The worksheet landscape is 8.5 by 11 inches, which is what we want when we print these flyers later on. So make sure you type in worksheet landscape. Once you have selected the paper size, which in our case is worksheet landscape, you're going to hit copy and resize and a new tab should pop up just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and close the tab that originally opened with the vertical template. And so now here we go, we're left with our beautiful horizontal template. I'm going to start by cleaning up this page a little bit and taking away things I don't need and keeping the things that I want to use later. So I got rid of that shape in the middle with the flower and I'm saving some of the words so that I can use the fonts that's already given. I will be fitting in three flyers side by side on one page. And so that's what I'm doing here is starting to section off this page into three parts for the three flyers. And so I am creating some contrast at the bottom with this darker box. And I'm just writing in piano lessons because that is what I'm advertising for. And I will copy and paste that two more times and start arranging it from left to right. Here I am using that the words that I saved previously and just retyping in the phrase all ages and levels so that I can keep the font but put in information that I want people to see. The next thing I wanted to add on my flyer was a photo of myself playing the piano so that people have a face to the name. I went to the left side of my screen and clicked on elements and I typed in frame. I chose a circle frame and dragged it on the flyer and placed it where I wanted it to be. And then I went to uploads again on the left side of the screen and I've already uploaded some photos of myself and I clicked the one that I wanted and dragged that into the circle and you just have to hover the photo above the circle, above the frame, and your image should automatically fit into that circle. I wanted a little bit more of a pop to my image, so I decided to go back to elements and typed in beige. What I was looking for was something that I could place behind the frame to make it a little bit more 3D, a little bit more textured. I came across this one in the graphics section. 
So the trick that I used to achieve this layered look is to lock my frames because I hovered over it to put it behind my frame, but the frame kind of took it as a, the new picture. And so I locked my frames and then resized the graphic and layered it so that it goes behind my frame. So I continued to add on important information that I wanted people to see and spread it across the page. I wanted to include my website URL into my flyer in a creative way. So I went to elements and typed in search bar. I picked a search bar image that I liked and placed it on my flyer and wrote in my website URL. The next thing I wanted to add was my piano logo that I originally found on Canva. And so I went to elements and typed in piano and looked for the image that I wanted. And I resized it, copied and pasted it across the page and also added in extra information, including my name and my professional designations. The very last thing that I did for my flyers was put circle outlines at the top of the page so that after I printed my flyers and laminated them, I had a guideline of where to cut out the door hanger holes. And this is completely up to you. You can always get a big paper puncher or just do it free-handed, but I thought this was a way to keep things um, even and equal. And that is everything that I did for my door hanger flyers for my piano studio business. And I hope that this video helped you navigate Canva and give you some creative inspiration and ideas for your advertisement pieces. And if you liked it, please subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.